Okay, something a little bit different. This is a Sanyo MC2 portable audio tape recorder from the 1960s, believe it or not. Um, and um, <coughs> the seller sold this to me as untested, so uh, he didn't know whether it worked or not, but I put some batteries in it and it actually does run. So I thought before we have a real close look at it, what we ought to do is see whether there's anything on the tape, because the tape, it came with the tape and I, and I simply don't know. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll turn it on and we will see whether it's got anything on it. I can remember which way you do it. Ah, there we go. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. Before he died last year, Premier Kerkowska gave his daughter, Anna, a secret document containing the names of men within his government who privately favored friendly relations with the West. Word has reached us through diplomatic channels that Anna and her brother, Alexei, wished to defect. We know this is a plot devised by Alexei to acquire the document and at the same time capture American intelligence agents, thereby embarrassing the West. In spite of this trap, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get the document and bring Anna Kurkowska to safety. As always, should you or any member of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Well, that's absolutely amazing. I think we stumbled onto something quite incredible here. Anyway, let's stop it for now. Yes, uh, basically, this is identical to the little tape recorder that was used in the Mission Impossible TV series of the 1960s. It was actually an MC2A that was used in that, but it's physically, it's complete, almost completely identical to this one. Um, and um, yeah, I just thought. Well, that was a good way of introducing it. So um, let's have a closer look at it. Okay. <coughs> Here's the uh, MC2 with its lid on. This is what it looks like when it's complete. Um, there's my hand, so you can see how big it is. It's about the same area as a original sort of Walkman, but it's a lot deeper. See, that's quite over, probably about an inch and a quarter. Um, but it's still pretty compact. Bear in mind this was made in the late 1960s. You know. um, and there's the other side, which uh, you can clearly see the uh, speaker grill. The screw takes the lid off to get at the battery compartment. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it's a very, very compact unit. Um, on this end, you've got the, the record play switch. Uh, earphone jack, microphone jack, and this is a remote switch, which I'm assuming just means you can turn it on and off remotely. Um, and then on this side you've got uh, stop and on, forward, rewind, and the volume control. And of course, uh, if we open it up, um, you've also got a speed control there. Uh, but that's it, pretty much for for for, for the speed. I mean, the main the main mainstay. The body is metal, um, but the lid and and the this lid and this one are plastic. Um, but it's it's still an extremely you know still extremely well built bit of kit. So uh, <coughs> next we'll have a look inside. Okay, here's the uh, MC2 with the back cover off, and um, you can clearly see the uh, speaker and batteries, and this is the main capstan motor here. Um, you gotta remember that this is very old technology. This came out in about 1965, so this is, what, 53 years ago? So, given the technology at the time, I think it's quite remarkable that they were able to make something this small. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, they've crammed an awful lot in there. Um, and the other amazing thing is, you know, this is 53 years old and it still works uh, after all this time. Um, there is something a bit strange about the, the battery compartment. Normally, on all the information that I've managed to find about these on the internet, this had a removable battery tray. Um, but I think that something has happened to this in the past. Maybe they, the tray got lost and these these battery terminal strips, I think, have been made up and added so that the thing still works. And then there's just a cover over the end. Um, but even so, you know, it still works, which is which is which is remarkable. Um, and and as I said, this is this is quite a heavy thing. I mean, you know, this is I don't know whether it mainly probably the, uh, the fact that it's got the frame is metal and the capstan motor is probably quite heavy as well. But yes, it's 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 a weighty bit of kit, this. Um, so um, there you go. Um, I think I, what I'm going to try and do is uh, uh, dig up a, a condenser mic with a 3.5 mil jack on it and see if I can actually record on this. Um, but um, that will be in a follow-up video. So um, that's it for now. I thought uh, you'd quite like a quick look at the uh, Sanyo MC2 pocket corder from uh, the 1960s. I hope you enjoyed that video and thank you very much for watching.